hello guys in today's tutorial i'm going to show you, uh, show you how to integrate this angular crude table with crm system mm, this angular crude table it's available in github you can search it on google um, type ang github angular crude table so this this link if i open this it will navigate to my repository named angular group table these are the uh, nodes so what all things it can do it can retrieve create update delete filter sort and do page initiation I'll show you each one. Uh, this retrieve means it will retrieve from another web API source like CRM. Creation also it will do a post to create. And update it will do a patch. Then delete. Filtering is done within here itself. Uh, it doesn't requires any web API concept. Web API. Mm -hmm put post or other things sorting also it's done here itself within using the web api uh, using angular sort method and pagination also so we can delete multi multiple records these these records are actually uh, now i am using some test data because um, in github from github i am not connecting it to crm it will require authentication so i am using some test data to show it here i'll show you uh, how to integrate this angular and put it into CRM system. This is my CRM Dynamics 365 online trial version. Mm. So first thing I'll need to do is create the web resources. The web resources are available in this. in this master branch mm, this is the entry point index.html then main.js polyfills runtime styles these four web resources plus index after so total of five you will need to create in crm so first i'll create them in crm So what I will do is I'll put this subgrid in the so before creating the web resource I'll first um, put subgrid in the task form I'll not be actually creating a subgrid but would be creating a web resource in the task form so let me just open one existing task to show you how it looks before doing some customization. <coughs> so I'll just put one web resource just below this description. I'll go to advanced settings, customization, customize system. And it is 
can look for task go to forms then open the main form here I'll just insert one new web resource I'll need to create it index.html I have already downloaded it from github and stored it on my desktop I just need to upload it to CRM Sorry, it's not scripted, it's HTML. Save. I'll later on publish all customization. I'll not I'll not be doing it now. To save my time. Give any name. Can create the remaining web resources one by one. Go to web resources. Yeah, I just forgot to change the base URL in index.html. I'll just change it. So this space HRF you need to put your organization here I was using some different organization so this is my actual currently which I'm using just replace it you should be noticing this new underscore this is your publisher prefix so if your publisher prefix is something else please rename these prefixes new underscore polyfill new underscore main new underscore runtime new underscore style.cs be careful about this save it create a new main dot js javascript
similarly create the web resource polyfills.js Now, if you refresh this task form, you should be able to see the web resource with the Angular grid retrieving contacts. So if you want to confirm whether this retrieved um, contacts are from this system only, I'll show you, uh, I'll just edit this portal customer with some different name. So it should also re uh, get renamed. I'll search for contacts within the same test org. equals portal I'll just rename it I'll rename it to renamed to test angular grid and save it. Now I'll just refresh it. See, this name has been changed. Portal rename to test angular grid customer. If I delete this, so I shouldn't be able to find it in advanced find. So I'll just delete it. It's successfully deleted. Now let me go to advanced find and search for portal. So I shouldn't get it here. See. I'll just make this grid 
little bit thick so so that you may be able to see it clearly So I have made it this bigger. I just mm, changed the properties of the entire tab. I made earlier it was two column. I made it to one column. Okay, save and publish. So one more thing I'll do. I'll increase the height. it's much better now you can remove this border also if you need and hide this 